So in terms of uh, the breakdown of love, I am cheating. Why do why do people cheating cheat? Is it is it novelty seeking? Is it made switching? What's your perspective? It really depends on what the motivation is within that individual. So there's no one answer as to why somebody might cheat. It could be there are some genes that predispose you to be more likely to cheat. Wow. One in, one in particular, which is known as uh, the ABB, AVPR gene, um, which is associated with neurochemical. It's sort of associated with love, but sort of on the side. Uh, there was There is some evidence that some people carry a version of the gene, which makes them more liable to cheat. But obviously, genes are not deterministic. So just because you carry that version doesn't mean that you will. Some people, it's a culture that they grow up in that actually this is what we do. Mm. And whilst we might define that as cheating within their culture, they don't define it as cheating. That's not cheating. It's just something that people do. Um, it can be something that's a slightly learned behavior. If you are brought up within a family where maybe your parents were unfaithful um, and that was something you grew up with as being something that was kind of acceptable, then you are more likely to do it. There is some evidence, but it's kind of a little bit rocky uh, as to maybe people with high levels of testosterone might be more liable to cheat and that's because testosterone is particularly in males it is the hormone of mate seeking and mate competition that's what it's there for and that's why it drops when you finally couple up and it drops again when you become a father because actually it's not very helpful in those circumstances but um so there could be that some people with very high levels of testosterone will be more likely to seek mates outside their relationship and for some people you're absolutely right it's novelty some people get bored in relationships and some people like that they prefer that early lustful attraction exhilarating side of being in a relationship and it might be something that they seek as a novelty outside their own relationship so it's it's a mix of reasons and there isn't there is no one reason why somebody might do it generally we see an interaction so it might be that you have a genetic predisposition predisposition and you've got um you know a family history of, of people who happen to cheat and that's those two things together that gene environment interaction that makes it seem like more likely that you will as an evolutionary anthropologist you would be interested in the evolutionary reasons as to why love um, came about. Why we need love. Why